Fred and George are waiting for us on the fifth floor corridor. Hey, Fred. George. Is anything the matter? We've had a tip-off. Umbridge found out it's us who provided the little presents that have been left for her. What are you going to do? I've always felt our future's lay outside the world of academic achievement. I've been thinking the same thing myself. Everything is set. The swamp is in place. Just keep your eyes open and your heads down and get to the entrance hall. You'll have the best view from there. Let's start the show with this swamp box. I think a little incendio or a ducto will do it. Incendio! Yo! Well, well, we are in trouble. I'll have you whipped for this. I do believe this is where we leave, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> A little reducto will do the trick. Stock. It's worth it. Umbridge's face will be priceless. Managing them. Do you think she'll be able to say she'll to buy And we'll go out with a bang! I'm supposed to just let Sirius die. The chimney in Umbridge's office. We can use the flu network to get to Sirius. Come on. You were going to Dumbledore, weren't you? Very well. The Cruciatus curse ought to loosen your tongue. No, it's illegal. Even Minister Fudge. Tell her, Harry. 
sorry. It's not worth another student dying. What is it? I knew Dumbledore was planning something. A weapon, then, is it? Oh, take me to it. Well, where is this weapon? There isn't one, is there? You know, I really hate children. But if it falls to me to tie up the loose ends, I will do what must be done. You, you have no business here. This is a ministry matter. Come on! Thank you, Grop! But Harry, how exactly are you planning to get all the way to London? Let's just get back to the castle. It's mouth. We've got to help them. Look out! It's Potter! Leave him and his mud blood friend to me. Protego! A tributus Protalus! It, Malfoy, run! I have to get to London. Sirius is in trouble. This is the place I saw in my dreams. The place Voldemort has been trying to get into. Where they're keeping the weapon the Death Eaters want. The door is at the end. Harry! We have to find Sirius. Row 97. He should be here. Harry, what if he never was here? What if Voldemort tricked you into thinking you saw Sirius? This has your name on it, Harry. Huh? 
The one with the power to vanquish the Dark Lord approaches, and the Dark Lord will mark him as his equal, but he will have power the Dark Lord knows not, and either must die at the hand of the other, for neither can live while the other survives. <laughs> Things. Death Eaters! Just run! She 
killed him. Do it! Harry! It was foolish of you to come here, Tom. The auras are on their way. By which time I shall be gone, and you... dead. Dumbledore! The auras will be here soon. The orders will be here soon. It is time to end this fight. Your time is past. It is time to end this Your time is past! What happened to you, Dumbledore? You have grown feeble in your old age. What happened to you, Dumbledore? You have grown feeble in your old age. Have you learned nothing, Tom? Tiring, old man. Be defeated. What happened to you, Dumbledore? The orders will be here soon. Nothing, Tom. It is time to end this, Tom. Tiring, old man. Don't you realize it's... You do not seek to kill me, old man. Above such brutality. There are other ways of destroying a man, and fates worse than death. I will kill you now, old man. Then again, if your own death means nothing to you... Voldemort! Harry, stay where you are!
friendship, or loyalty, or love, or real happiness, and I feel sorry for you. I saw him! It was Voldemort! He's back! Prophecy said, neither can live while the other one survives. It means one of us has got to kill the other in the end. Yes. I'm sorry about Sirius. The papers are reporting Voldemort's return. Even the prophets had to admit he's back. Are you all right, Harry? I've been thinking. Even though we've got a fight ahead, we've also got one thing Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. I'm just glad the sorting hat put me in Slytherin. I really want to go to Hogsmeade next time. Are you coming? Fred and George must be earning a fort. What's the... They might not... Hmm. I hope the three of you have completed your research into counter charms for your homework. Remember, your OWL exams may influence your futures for many years to come. Yes, of course, Professor. There's just one more counter charm I need to check before I hand my essay in. Uh, yeah, me too. I know the perfect book. Achievements in Charming. But it's been checked out from the library. We'll need to find whoever has it. Really? I thought the Grey Lady would have more manners. He got another zero. Hi. Hi. If you need to practice your charms, you can practice your charms. We can go to the 
I'm sick of all this tip tap. What stupid are two huffle puffs flying over in backwards? <laughs> I like your hair today. Oh, really? I thought the grey lady would have more manners. We'd better find that book you mentioned, Hermione. Let's go and find that charms textbook so we can do this homework. Flaming earwigs. They're watching us. They're all watching us. Hello, Harry. Hiya. Hi. Excuse me, is that Achievements and Charming you're reading? Can I have a quick look? Yes, yes, of course. Well, that was obvious. Yeah, completely obvious. All we've got to do now is write the essay. Uh... Oh, for goodness sake. You'll have to do your own essay sometime. And so, therefore... And they... And in conclusion... Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Flitwick.
see you. I'm going to the Alvary to post a letter. Want to come? Okay. Flaming earwigs. Ah, they're everywhere. Hi, Harry. Hi. If you need to practice your job. Keep smiling. You are Shut up. Professor Flitwick, we've brought you the homework you asked for. Excellent, Miss Granger, excellent. I'm sure these will do you all credit. The vector's supposed to be really strict. I'm glad Professor Snape is head of our house. Can you imagine being stuck with an old bat like McGonagall? Ah, Potter. After your last feeble attempt at potion making, I expect you to write 12 inches of parchment on the properties of Moonstone. No excuses. But I've already got lots of homework. And Potter, anything less than acceptable, and you will suffer my displeasure. Just what I needed. What a complete git. I know, just the book you need. If we're passing the library, you can check it there. Can't you find someone else? I'm just glad the sorting happened. I'm missing three cards. That's... Oh. Hi. Hiya. Can you start? Can anyone remember the other ingredients for me? Oh, I don't know. Ask me later, okay? I've never tasted butter.
This is the book we need. Oh, look. Moonstone is sometimes known as the Wishing Stone. Um, Hermione? Oh, no. You have to write this essay. But I suppose I could correct it for you. So, therefore, and they, and in conclusion... Right, let's take these essays back to Professor Snape. Professor Snape, I've brought you my essay on moonstones. Indeed. Let us see if you can differentiate between monkshood and moonstone, shall we? I suppose this is acceptable. Follow me. But I must remind you, Potter, you will not be able to rely upon Miss Granger when you take your owl. Coming to Quidditch? I suppose. You want to look for secret passages later? No, I can't. What's the next lesson? Is it double? I'm sick of all this tittle tattle. Potter, Weasley, and Miss Granger, I trust you're up to date with your homework. Don't forget, I'm expecting your essay on self fertilizing shrubs for tomorrow's lesson, and I hope I don't have to remind you that this is your owl, yeah? No, Professor Sprout. She hoped she didn't have to remind us. As if we could forget. Every teacher keeps reminding us every lesson. Where are we going to find a book on self-fertilising shrubs? Neville will explain. Let's find him. Come on, Harry. There are lots of new things. Flaming earwigs. Ah, they're everywhere. I 
I didn't know anything about any of this. Hi. They were going to do me in watercolours, you know. Hi. You're... <laughs> a Flesh-eating trees of the world. This is what we need for Professor Sprout's essay. Uh, Hermione, could you help me with the opening paragraph? Oh, all right then. And so therefore... Right. Let's take these essays back to Professor Sprout. Sinistra later. <laughs> Flaming earwigs. They're watching us. They're all watching us. <laughs> Professor Sprout. We've brought you our essays on self-fertilizing shrubs. Excellent work. Superb diagrams as well. Ten points to Gryffindor. Well, if you have time to spend on your herbology, as owl students, you're welcome to use the greenhouses. Devil's snare. Didn't Sprout use this once to protect the Philosopher's Stone? 